So why do I build you up by saying, find a percent, find a percent, find a percent. But then all of a sudden now, it's like, yeah, bro, you give me the percent. Now you want me to find the score or find the value, which takes us to the objectives. We are going to be looking at the normal distribution in reverse called inverse norm. Now I want you to turn to page 14 of your notes. I want to knock out this problem right here. Okay, um, and this is about the verbal SAT scores. We didn't finish this. In which Joe scores at the um, 85th percentile and we want to find out what his actual score is. Now there's two ways to do this. This is the long way and I would only do this if I had no other options but I need to inform you about it. So we're saying here that the probability of his score being at the 85th percentile. So we're talking to be less than some other value. We don't know what that is. So the first thing we need to do is to find the Z. So here the Z of some value that I don't know minus the mean which is 505 okay divided by the standard deviation and once I find that and this should be a less than this is going to give me the 85th percentile so what I've got to literally do is take this chart and find the 85th percentile on it and you're going to find here you're looking for 0.85 inside of the body of the graph and it's about here so I'm gonna slide over and see that point my eyes are going crazy right now guys gotta pause so as I can see here 0.85 is about here so I'm going to go with 1.04 and that is the z-score so I'm going to take that z-value and that's going to make that 1.04 is going to equal x minus 505 over 110 and I know I put equal but I'll do it that way I'm not dealing with that inequality because I don't have to so you need to go ahead there and solve for that unknown x And now you get a score of approximately 619.4. Now this was the, hard, the long way of doing this. So let's do it the easy way. But I need you to see, know how to do it both ways, with or without the calculator. So let's go with plan A, because this is definitely plan B. Plan A is to do our inverse norm. And remember, we're talking about the 85th percentile with the mean of 505 and the standard deviation of 100. And you can see that we have the same value. It is off a little, but the bottom line is the calculator is more precise because on that table, we didn't find it exactly on 0.85. So here, the score is 619. So as I interpret that, it is as follows. So Joe's verbal score that placed him in the 85th percentile was uh, is approximately 619 on that verbal um, SAT. Okay, that's it for inverse norm. Just remember, when it comes to inverse norm, you are going to be putting in the percent, the mean, and the standard deviation, and Please remember, this percent is whatever is on the left tail. Okie dokie. I will see you guys when I see ya.
Bye-bye.